Alright, welcome to this third lesson. This one's going to be on exponents, radicals, and scientific notation. So, this again is going to be a set of three videos, one for each of these topics. And these actually should be much quicker than the previous videos. So, this one we're going to just focus on exponents. So, what is an exponent? Well, x to the n power. This number is called the base. And this one is called the exponent. The exponent will tell us How many times the base is used as a factor? What that means is I'm going to take x times x times x n times. So that's just the definition of an exponent. And this is actually just for positive exponents. And we'll talk about negative exponents in a bit. Let me give you an example. x times x times x times x times x. We can just shorten this to x to the fifth power, because I have x used as a factor five times. So what happens some rules of exponents. First rule, what's x squared times x to the third? Well, x squared is x times x, and we're going to multiply that by x times x times x x is being used as a factor five times. So this is just x to the fifth. So when we're multiplying, you're going to raise your exponents. Your exponents can become just the sum of your exponents. x to the four times x to the eight would be x to the twelve. So that's multiplying with exponents. Let's look at division. x cubed divided by x squared. Well, x cubed, remember we can just rewrite as x times x times x. x squared we can write as x times x. And those two x's cancel, those two x's cancel. I'm left with x to the first. So I just subtract the exponents when I divide. So if we go back to this one here, x to the 8 divided by x to the 4 equals x to the 4. Now, we're going to get into negative exponents here. If we flip this to x squared over x to the third, And we can tackle this the same way that we just did on number 2 here. I've got x times x over x times x times x. Those still cancel out. Now I'm left with 1 over x. 
which is, which is the same thing as x to the minus 1. So a negative exponent it's how many times a number is used as a divisor. So x to the fourth divided by x to the sixth would be x to the negative two. I still subtract the exponents which is the same thing as 1 over x squared. But the question becomes, which way do we prefer in math? Because just like uh, we did with proper and improper fractions, there is a more preferred way to do it. And this is the preferred answer. We do not like negative exponents if we don't need them. So this is the preferred form. We have two more rules of exponents. x cubed, x to the third power, squared. This is the same thing as x cubed times x cubed, which is x to the sixth, based on the rule from here, right? When you have a power raised to a power, you just multiply. So x to the four raised to the 8 would be x to the 32nd. 4 times 8 is 32. Now one last rule for exponents. x to the 5th to the 0. Well we know from what we just did that this is the same thing as x to the 0 because 5 times 0 is 0. But, what's x to the 0? Anything to the 0 power is 1. So if you remember back to your days in science with the metric system, we had kilo, hecta, deca, then the next units we had were deci, centi, milli. Right here is the base unit. This is 10 to the 0. Just like this is 10 to the 3rd, to the 2nd, to the 1st. Sorry, I'm squinching my writing a little bit. Then deci is 10 to the minus 1, centi is 10 to the minus 2, and milli is 10 to the minus 3. base unit is 10 to the 0, which is just 1. A meter, or a pound, or something like that. And that's exponents. So, that'll be it for this video. Like I said, this one was going to be pretty quick. And next video will be radicals, so I'll see you on that one.